Good afternoon and thanks for joining us here at the Schweiker House for the Schomburg Township Historical Society's Virtual Historic Bus Tour 2020. Here we are at the Schweiker House. This is uh, Robert Paul Schweiker's modern masterpiece that he designed and built, uh, finished in 1938. We call this a mid-century home, even though it was built earlier than mid-century. Uh, Paul Schweiker utilizes this as both his studio on the north side and his residence on the south side. As we go through the house, we'll show you some of the touches that he included in his modern piece here, constructed primarily out of all wood, brick, and glass. And we'll talk a little bit more about some of the features he included as well as how he came by this property here in Schaumburg. So you may ask yourself, why did Schweiker decide to build out here in the middle of what was at that time rural Roselle? Well, Schweiker gets a commission to redesign a farmhouse, actually a barn, into a house for the current family that was just north of here. And as part of that commission, they carved out seven and a half acres of their property and gave it to Schweiker. Well, Schweiker decides to move his budding business out of Chicago and designs this property as his masterpiece of both his studio and his home. And that's how it comes to be in what was at that time rural Roselle. Let's go inside and take a look at the house and see what he designed. Welcome to the inside of the Schweiker house. Here we're in Schweiker's idea of an open concept living, dining, and kitchen area space. This free flow space that goes between these areas was really one of Schweiker's ideals that he incorporated into his homes. Some of his concepts that he includes in this modernist house are built-in bookcases, built-in cabinetry, all the amenities right there at hand to reduce the amount of furniture needed. One of the overwhelming aspects of the living room is the large fireplace. This central hearth was instrumental to Schweiker's designs and incorporated almost all of his residential homes. The house is currently interpreted as the Langsdorf collective. When Martil Langsdorf passed away in 2013, her belongings were bequeathed to the trust organization that manages the house. The Langsdorfs lived in the house from 1953 until Martil passed away in 2013. Next, we'll see the solar bedroom, which incorporates aspects of passive solar technology. Welcome to the solar bedroom. This was really the only bedroom in the house when the house was first completed in 1938. You can see behind where some of the beds may have been, although these have been replaced by the Langsdorfs later. We call it the solar bedroom because it incorporates passive solar technology with these large plate glass windows that face south and bring in the sun's rays during the cooler months of the year in fall and winter. During the summer months, as you can see, the sun doesn't break the plane of the glass and instead the broad overhangs keep the sun's rays outside, maintaining the coolness of this room. Schweiker was thought of as a pioneer in passive solar technology and he incorporated many of those aspects into this and his future residences. Next, we'll go over to the studio side and take a look at that. That's where he and his architects and apprentices worked on some of the designs for some of the buildings in the area, including the Schomburg Schoolhouse, where District 54 still has offices. We're now on the studio side of the house and we're in what Paul created as a conference room. This was an addition that was done a little later and was subsequently modified by the second owners, the Langsdorfs, into their master bedroom. This room is actually a cantilever. It comes 10 feet over its foundation to the north and 5 feet to the east. This double cantilevered room faces north and the west branch of the Salt Creek, offering wonderful views throughout all seasons.
We hope that you'll come join us for a full tour here at the Schweiker House and enjoy Robert Paul Schweiker's modernist masterpiece. Thanks for joining us on the tour today.